Would you also agree that Emma Lazarus's words etched on the Statue of Liberty, give me your tired, your poor, are also part of the American ethos? Uh, They certainly are. Give me your tired and your poor who can stand on their own two feet and who will not become a public charge. That man oversees American immigration. Prior to being appointed to this job, he appeared as a pro-Trump defender on CNN discussion panels. His rewrite of the Emma Lazarus poem on the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty made a lot of news today. Then tonight he offered this explanation on CNN. That poem was referring back to people coming from Europe where they had class-based societies where people were considered wretched if they weren't in the right class. Still with us tonight is Rick Wilson. Rick, you're familiar with the words and work of Ken Cuccinelli, no doubt. And here's the response it engendered today. uh, And that is that it's some kind of changing the rules while the game is underway. And across our country, people said things like, I don't know about the Wilsons, but the Williamses came here without any 401ks, no Kemp Roth IRAs, no health care plan that we know of, probably came here with the clothing they wore. You know, th- this, is, this is the American story writ large, generation after generation after generation who came here not because we were a race, not because we were a single tribe, but because we were a propositional nation, an idea that if you came here, you could become an American. The one unique nation on earth where there's zero racial or cultural universality, there's a, there's a universality of the idea of America. And what Ken is saying, and, and I think this is incredibly disappointing for a man who used to be a principled conservative, um, is that he has adopted the Stephen Miller, Steve Bannon, Donald Trump mode of thinking that immigration should be based on, uh, I mean, look, let's be honest about this. This isn't a code for, for whether they come here with a 401k or not. It's a code for whether they come here if they're white or not. And this is administration is explicitly racial in its desire to have its immigration system look a certain way. You know, the president said it himself about S whole countries and why not, why aren't they coming from Norway instead of Guatemala? Um, and so I think that this is a very disappointing moment. And this is one of the things where it shows the delta between traditional conservatism, which deeply believed in the power of America to create Americans, and now the belief that being an American is somehow a racial or genetic component that certain people can never have. How about we go out on a little Emma Lazarus? Here it is in context. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.